I am General Zod, your ruler, and you will kneel before Zod. And I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose, and you will kneel before me. Who is this horny dude that needs to kneel before Zod? Kneel before me. I said kneel. No, you will kneel before Zod. You will kneel before... Puny God and Puny Zod. Love you kids, it's time for you. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Superman 2 Movie Masters General Zod 12-inch figure from Mattel. We got the packaging for the figure. You can see General Zod in like a White House background with the Superman logo, General Zod. Just like other figures from the line, it has a little locker right here uh, that you can take out. It has like a little bookshelf we can see right here on um, both sides and you actually can open this up. It holds all the accessories. And see right there that's pretty awesome I, I do like that they do that you can see the side of the box which is part of the mural that combines with Lex Luthor and the Superman back of the box says Superman it has a little Daily Planet headline that talks about Earth under Kryptonian rule where is Superman feel free to pause and read this you know before Zod and as Daily Planet three packages the first one being General Zod the middle one being Superman the third one being Lex Luthor you can see here it takes the steel from the movie when the bus is about to hit the people or whatever but as you can notice the end is cut off so I don't know if there was a four figure plan like if that was supposed to be I don't know Lois Lane or who or Ursula or whoever the third figure was or four figure was gonna be but it feels like it's not complete but it's cool that Mattel wants to make use of the packaging for Meryl but these boxes are pretty big and they take up a lot of space so I don't see a lot of people displaying that. I better open up Zod quick before I have to kneel before. Here we got the Movie Masters 12 inch General Zod. A uh, pretty cool figure, not Hot Toys quality, but still pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look at it. Now it's awesome after years to finally have a General Zod figure, uh, especially in one six scale form. The only problem is Mattel, uh, even though this is a cheaper figure when this came out it was like 60 bucks, it's definitely not Hot Toys or even Sideshow collectibles quality. Uh, you definitely get what you pay for. and. You can see the, the face sculpt, but you can do see Terrence Stamp's likeness in it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not a realistic looking uh, portrait, even with the beard. And it, it's definitely more caricature. It kind of almost looks like a cartoon version come to life of Terrence Stamp as Jerome Zod. Yeah, like so. Like the paint is pretty good, but you know it's it's definitely not like anything uh, comparable to Hot Toys. The outfit uh, is almost comparable to Hot Toys. The outfit that Zod wore in the first two films is definitely very laughable, especially compared to the one that we're gonna see in Man of Steel. But uh, it it kind of reminds me of a cross between like pajamas, like a karate uniform, and I don't know, but. Yeah, and the boots don't help at all. The boots are cool, they're shiny, but yeah, it's definitely reflective of the time. Very 80s, late 70s gear. Um, yeah, it's not intimidating at all. I don't know how anyone would kneel before this guy besides with it, all his powers. For articulation, General Zod's head can't fully rotate. It can go down that much and up only that much. The, it doesn't really like have that much head movement up because of the hair. The arms can fully rotate. The alpha doesn't really hinder it that much. It does go in and out because it's armpit joint and in and out that way. Um, it does rotate at the bicep, bend two points at the elbow, which is awesome. It rotates at the wrist as well as go in and out. He does have an ab crunch forward and back and uh, upper ab crunch um, side to side and rotates as well as the waist joint that fully rotates. Legs go forward, really good. Whoop, uh, goes back. Uh, he does can do the splits, so they can go in and out. Rotate every far leg. He does bend uh, at two points at the knee, um, and his ankles uh, actually do pivot forward and back, and he has a uh, ankle pivot, so it's pretty good articulation. Odd comes a total of six hands. He has like the kneel before me hand. He has the grabbing hands, and he has the fisted hands. Uh, they're pretty good, you know. On point of detail with the head sculpt. It comes with two different rifles or uh, guns. Uh, this is like an M16 looking gun. It's made of a rubbery plastic so it, to show that you can bend it uh, you know like how he did in the movie so that's cool that it's like a cool little prop 
gun. It also comes with the shotgun he took from the police officer. It's even uh, paint of red, like the heat vision he used on it, which he also used to like bring it to him. Like he had telekinetic powers. Anyway, um, pretty good detail. It's also rubbery, so you can bend it. And he comes with a stand that comes in two pieces. It has the black base and this cradle that can lift up, and it has the articulation point. So it, it, it's a pretty good stand, not like hot toy stand. Nothing but a crude noise maker. Yeah, I hate guns because I killed my parents. I see you practice and worshiping things that fly. Good, now rise before Zod. I ready, rise. I'm the Dark Knight. Rising. For the love of Zod, I hope all you humans don't talk like this. Size comparison time. So here you can see Mattel's Movie Masters uh, General Zod is actually in good scale with other 1-6 scale figures like the Hot Toys, Christopher Reeve, Superman, or the Marlon Brando Jor-El. Now it's awesome that Mattel gave us a General Zod figure from Superman 1 and 2, um, and especially in 1-6 scale form. It goes great with the Hot Toys, Christopher Reeve, Superman, and a uh, Jor-El figure, and uh, it's great to have them with um, even their um, Lex Luthor figure that they did too. Um, but compared to the Hot Toys figures, uh, this definitely can show you, this was $60 at the time. You can get it for a lot cheaper now, like on eBay or whatnot, but it's definitely not to the same standards of Hot Toys, at least in head sculpts. The outfit, for the most part, uh, is serviceable, and like I said, it still looks gr good in display with all of them. It just, you definitely notice it's not as realistic looking um, or as good as quality as the Hot Toys, just especially in the head sculpt department. But if you can look past that and you really love um, Superman 1 and 2 and love Terran Stamps, um, General Zod, then this is a great figure to have in your collection with them. Uh, so I don't think it's it's terrible. It's just not up to Hot Toys standards. But I hope until Hot Toys does decide to make one, this is a great figure to have uh, till then at least. So like I said, it, for you can get this figure for 40 bucks or less nowadays. So for that price, I definitely recommend it. For more geek news, reviews, podcasts, and more, go to bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Your Home in a big way. Where does he get those wonderful toys? He gets them at AlterEgoComics.com Excuse me, he was saying he gets them at AlterEgoComics.com <laughs> For the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit AlterEgoComics.com They take PayPal, pre-ordered, and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys? You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Go to BKBN.net! Go to BKBN.net! Go to BKBN.net! I tell you go! Go there! And now, finally, take my hand and swear your internal loyalty to Zod. <laughs> hey Zod, let me give you a hand. Why don't you kiss my ass? <laughs> Have a nice trip. See you next fall. Or next reboot.